So to install the Google Play Store on your Windows 11 device, the first thing you're going to do is go on to your settings and you're going to enable some features. You're going to go and click on the Windows button or the Windows um, key on your toolbar. Then search for the control panel. And once you open up control panel, we're going to maximize this. You're going to search for the programs option or you simply search here and search for program, program and features. And once this opens up, click on uninstall the program. Once you're on this screen by the left hand side at the top corner, you're going to see this option which says turn Windows feature on or off. Click on it. Then we're going to enable some features if not already enabled on your device. The features we're going to turn on is the virtual machine platform and the Windows hypervisor platform. So mine is turned on and enabled. So in case yours isn't enabled, just check this box. And once you're done with that, you're going to click on OK. And now you can close this windows and the next thing you need to make sure is enabled is your um virtualization to check if virtualization is enabled on your device right click on your tax bar and open up tax manager and let's maximize this so by the left you're going to click on the performance window click on it and choose the cpu so once you click on cpu come down to the bottom here and you're going to see your virtualization either enabled or disabled if your virtualization feature is disabled i will link you to a channel to a video on my channel to help you enable virtualization so once this is done we're going to move on to the next step which is to open up our browser and once you open up your browser we are going to search for the following WSA Windows 11 GitHub. So search for this. And once you are on the on the Google page, click on the first link available to you. And once you open up this GitHub, you can see this page is created by Microsoft officially. And just come to the bottom here and click on this WSA builds once you are on this page you're going to scroll all the way down um, let's give this a moment to to load up so here are the requirements in your And give it a moment to do that. So when this page is loaded up, you're going to come down to this um, session which says operating system and shows you different lists. And we're going to download the right one for our system configuration and our um, operating system. So I'm going to download Windows 11 64 bits stable version click on it and we're going to be led to this page so scroll all the way down and we're going to download this first one this remove amazon dot seven z click on it and let this load up and wait for the download to begin Just give this a moment. So once you click on the first link after searching for WSA um, Windows download, so you're going to be um, directed to this page on GitHub. As you can see, this is the official Microsoft GitHub account. And what we're going to do is scroll to this session which says Mustard Chef slash wsa builds so 
what we're going to do is click on WSC builds and when we are on the next page scroll all the way down and as you can see come to this download section and choose your operating um operating system mine is windows 11 and i'm going to download the latest table build windows 11 64 bits if you're on windows 10 you can download um the one for windows 10 64 bits so you don't need the rest of this you can just read through the requirements so what we're going to do now is click on this download and scroll all the way down and we're going to click on the first link which is remove amazon.7z so click on it and now the download has started so just give this a moment for the download to be done and once the download is done we're going to get back to the tutorial so once the download is done i'm going to show you the next thing to do once you are finalized download what you have to do next is open up your folder your download folder and this particular file will be on your folder on the download folder what you're going to do next is right click on it and we're going to use 7-zip to unzip this um file so if you do not have 7-zip installed on your pc all you have to do is just open up your chrome and click a new tab and search for 7-zip download so once you click on 7-zip download and the page loads up click on the first page and once you you are on the website click the particular um version you want to download and once you're downloaded and installed 7 zip come back to the file right click on it the reason why i recommend using 7 zip is because of um, error messages that you might um, encounter while using other unzipping tools so right click on the folder that have been downloaded or the file that have been downloaded and click on show more options and now come to the option which says 7 zip and click on extract file and there is something i want to bring to your notice make sure to extract this file to the document folder so that everything can work smoothly so click on this browse icon and choose documents and click ok now you can click ok to start the extraction so just give this a moment for the extraction to be done and once the extraction is done come back to your um file and click on folder now you're going to search for the particular folder that has been unzipped this is it wsa double click on it and open up this folder again now once you're on this folder you're going to search for this um this particular file which says run windows patch file so we are going to double click on it and you're going to be greeted with the prompt just click on yes and let this um installation once you are trying to install this you're going to find this error message just click on continue and once you are done with that as you can see uh windows subsystem for android is loading up so just give this a moment and once it's done loading up we're going to we're going to move on to the next step so once the installation is done you're going to be greeted with windows google play store windows pop up and you'll be prompted to sign in what you're going to do now is sign in to your play store account and i'm going to do this in the back end once i'm done signing up with my 
Google account. I'm going to show you what to do next. So stay tuned. So now that I'm logged into my my Google account on Play Store, I'm going to show you a few advanced settings to make sure you are able to use your Play Store smooth, just like an Android phone. So what you're going to do now is click on the Windows button and search for Windows. Um, subsystem. So open this up. And once you're on this page, you're going to come to the um, left hand side and click on advanced settings. And on this advanced settings, we're going to turn off developer mode. And once we turn on developer mode, we're going to click on manage developer settings. So once you're on this page that looks similar to that of um, an Android phone, what we're going to do next is just scroll through so once you open up these developer options manage developer options if you are greeted with a prompt just click on allow and once we are done click back and let's go back to let's go back to the settings and now we're going to open up experimental features and we're going to turn on share user folders open this up and the next thing we're going to do is navigate to the windows focus and change from cooperative to independent and once we are done with all this we can click on close to close this folder and now once we search on our device for play store we can see the Play Store is available on our Windows, on our Windows device, and now you can install whatever Android device you want to install on your, on your PC and run it. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button, comment whatever um, challenges you're facing while trying to follow this process, and subscribe to YouTube channel. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.